Daniel loved God with his whole heart. God was his best friend, and Daniel loved spending time with him. In fact, Daniel set aside time to talk to God three times every day. Daniel had learned about God when he was a child, and his friendship had grown over the years from a teenager when he was taken into Babylonian captivity until the time of our story as an old man working in the court of King Darius. Daniel's loyalty and wisdom proved to be better than all the other court officials. The king trusted him and was planning to place him in charge of the entire empire. The other court officials were jealous of Daniel and they tried to find some fault in him, but they couldn't. The other court officials got together and came up with a plan to try and trap Daniel by testing his faith. They went to King Darius and flattered him and lied to him. May King Darius live forever, they said. All your court officials believe that you should make a law that anyone who prays to any god or human being for the next 30 days except for you will be thrown into the lion's den. Sadly, the king fell for their trickery and he signed the law. And once the law was the rule of the land, it could not be overruled. When Daniel heard about the new law, he went home, opened his window, and knelt down to pray like he faithfully did three times a day. He thanked God for his many blessings, and he asked God for help. The officials knew what time Daniel prayed each day, so they waited outside his house to catch him in the act. Then they ran to the king and said, Didn't you make a new law that says that anyone who prays to anyone other than you will be thrown into the lion's den? Of course, I signed the law and it stands, the king said. Then the officials told the king about Daniel praying to his God. The king was very sad that he would have to punish Daniel. In fact, the king spent all day trying to find a way to help Daniel, but he could not overturn his own law. So the king gave orders to throw Daniel into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you faithfully serve, rescue you. Then the guards threw Daniel into the lion's den. The king couldn't sleep that night. He tossed and turned, saddened that he had issued the death of his favorite servant. In the morning, the king rushed to the lion's den. The king yelled into the den and asked Daniel if his God had saved him. Daniel replied, My God sent his angel and has shut the mouth of the lions. The king was overjoyed and demanded that Daniel be taken out of the den immediately. When Daniel came out of the lion's den, there wasn't a scratch on him. This miracle made King Darius a believer in the God of heaven, and the king signed a new law stating that everyone in the kingdom must show respect to Daniel's God. Then the king ordered that the men who had schemed against Daniel be thrown into the lion's den. Thanks to Daniel's friendship with God and his faithfulness, a lot of people learned about the one true God, including the king of Babylon, and it changed their lives. <laughs>